See our today coming up in just a moment. Before we do, need a little favor to ask of the 12s out there. Can you share today's video? Here's what I need you to do. Go ahead and click the share button, select the Twitter icon, and click post to Twitter. If you tag me at Tyler Jones Live, then I'll give you a retweet. And the first 10 people to retweet today's show and to follow me on Twitter, I will follow you back. So if you pat my back, I'll pat yours. We'll all be happy, and we can get this show out to as many members of the 12s that we possibly can. If you love your Seattle Seahawks, if you want to continue to see our channel grow and bring you the best Seahawks coverage, subscribe now for free and share today's video. We'll be glad you did. We'll get started with today's show. Welcome in. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on Seahawks Today. We are talking about three extension candidates for your Seattle Seahawks with Training camp around the corner. Here is three names to watch that could be getting their contracts extension potentially before training camp or at least very, very soon anyway. Let's go ahead and start with linebacker Jordan Brooks. And I've said this on this show, and I will reiterate, when it comes to Jordan Brooks, personally, what I would do, I would wait to see how he looks coming back from injury. Uh, because you never know when a guy comes back from an ACL injury if they'll ever be the same or not. And the numbers, I think, have been very solid from Jordan Brooks early on in his career. I know that you, you listen to people from PFF and some of the nerds out there. They don't like what Jordan Brooks uh, has done in particular in coverage. But to me, I think this is a guy that should be around this organization for a very long time assuming that he's the same player that he once was. But the flip side, if you do go ahead and take care of that extension now, with him coming off the injury and the great unknowns about how he'll look coming off said injury, you might get him now cheaper than you possibly ever will at this rate. Here's more from 12th Man Rising's Lee Vowell on the possibility of getting the extension to Jordan Brooks. I do realize that Jordan Brooks might not even play in 2023 and that the Seahawks declined his fifth-year option already for 2024. But Brooks' fifth-year option would have paid him $12 million, and due to his injury, his market value might be diminished. That might sound harsh, but that's the facts of life in the NFL. Even though Brooks could be better in coverage and attacking opposing quarterbacks, he should still be a part of Seattle's defenses for the next four to five years. The numbers on Jordan Brooks, last season, 161 tackles, one sack, no interceptions, five pass breakups. The year prior, he had one of the highest uh, totals of tackles in the entire league with 184 with one sack, no interceptions, and five pass breakups his rookie season. Uh, he had 57 tackles, no sacks, no interceptions, and two pass breakups there. So what say you now? Your chance to be the GM here on Seahawks today. What do you think? Should the Seahawks extend Jordan Brooks right now? Wait in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Why for yes, in for no. Should the Seahawks extend Jordan Brooks or not right now or potentially wait till later? What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. Why for yes, in for no. Today's show is sponsored by Z Biotics. Let's face it. After y'all hit me with a bunch of super chats, I don't bounce back well the next day. That is until I found Z Biotics. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next morning. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Here is the product, and I want to pull this out and show you right now. As you can see, there are six bottles, and they are great for traveling. It makes it very easy, as you can see in this box right here. Go to zbiotics.com slash chat sports or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use code ChatSports at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription as well so you can stay prepared 
no matter the time or occasion. Z-Biotics is backed with a 100% money-back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That's zbiotics.com slash chat sports and use code chat sports at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring today's video. Next on our list is Uchenna and Wosu. And we've talked a lot about Uchenna and Wosu on this channel when it comes to an extension. He had a very impressive season in 2022. And now, I think when you look at that Seahawks uh, edge rusher room, that Uchenna and Wosu is option number one, and then the competition is really to see who's going to be the long-term answer for that number two spot. I think you got to hang on to and Wosu at least for a while, anyway, and then let the other guys compete potentially for that other spot. Listen to this uh, from Twelfth Man Rising: There is no comparison between Uchenna and Wosu and every other edge rusher the Seahawks had on the team last year in terms of consistent and high-end production. Extending in Wosu now would avoid any kind of bidding war, which Seattle has historically chose to uh, not to participate in. And you can see last year was outstanding. In his first year in Seattle, previously with the Los Angeles Chargers, had nine and a half sacks, 66 tackles, four pass breakups. He was a force to be reckoned with. Watch out. Uh, let's see what Eugenia and Wosu can do this time and uh, making a case to be one of the best pass rushers in the entire National Football League. So, I got another name to get to before we wrap up. But first, what do you think? Should the Seahawks extend Yuchin and Wosu right now? If you think they should, type E for extend. If not, type P for pass. Weigh in. Tell me in the comment section what you think. E for extend. P for pass. Folks, we're talking about your Seattle Seahawks each and every day here on Seahawks Today with daily news and rumors. We do our watch parties during the football season for every game day. Live shows during the week as well. And on top of that, folks, we have a fantastic community of Seahawks fans. The 12s really just have a great time interacting with us here on the channel. So join the family here on Seahawks today to be a part of what we're doing and get involved and interact and just enjoy what we bring you. And the best part about it, it's absolutely free. It does not cost you a thing. So go ahead, subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. We got everything covered that you need to know in your Seattle Seahawks right here on Seahawks Today by Chat Sports. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV to subscribe for free today. The last name on this list of extension candidates to watch is Damian Lewis at the offensive guard spot. And I feel like Damian Lewis doesn't get enough credit. I think personally that he is a very talented player, that he brings a lot to this Seahawks offensive line, but somehow he doesn't get enough credit for exactly what he does and what he brings to the table for this Seattle Seahawks team. And when you look to the future and guys that you need around, personally, I think that the Seahawks found a good fit for Damian Lewis where he's at in the interior of the offensive line. They should pay him to be a piece for that for the future going forward get this deal done sooner rather than later potentially save some money uh comparably speaking to if you waited to pay him next year when his market value would likely go up more from 12th man rising lois was drafted in 2020 out of lsu because of his prowess and run blocking and he can uh and he played right guard he's got athleticism sure but he's incredibly strong in his first season he proved his worth with the seahawks Ran the ball, but not so much in pass protection. After being flipped to the left side in 2021, Lewis didn't seem to play as well. But in 2022, he had his best season yet and actually graded out even better in pass protection than run blocking, even though his run blocking grade was solid too. And here's what we're talking about. Took a lot of snaps last year. Overall grade was near 72, not bad. Pass block grade near 73. The run block grade was... Well, it was decent with a uh, near 67 there. So you can see Damian Lewis has come into his own. He's developed nicely, and I personally think he should be a part of the long-term plans for the Seahawks as far as that goes. So we've named a few players. Now your turn to sound off in the comment section. Tell us what you think. Name a player you think the Seahawks should extend, whether it's one of these three or somebody else out there. Chime in the comment section. Tell me who you think the Seahawks should extend. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, also now on threads as well at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there. I'll see you next time here on Seahawks Today. Thanks for joining.